Hello everyone, welcome back, and I just realized, in the last episode I forgot to switch Knockout's item back, he's still in the EXP share. Let's give him back the, where is it, Shell Bell. Ah, that's no good. There we go. Oh yeah, there's a rival battle here. Hold it! What I told you before was to deceive you. I thought it would let me tail you and it would lead me to Lance. Well, he never showed up. No matter, I was planning to beat you after Lance, but since you're here, I will repay my debts. I'll be taking over, yes. Here we go. Honch Crow. Uh oh. This Honch Crow is a physical attacker, so Intimidate actually does affect it pretty well. Uh, Ice Fang then. Ah, uh, Toxic. Don't tell me there's more Toxic Protect. Just in the end of the last episode, it was fighting a guy where 90% of his team was Toxic Protect. Ooh, that was some good damage. Do I have everyone, anyone that just can't be poisoned? No, I don't have any steel types, so I don't really have a good switch. Because I don't want to just switch to someone just for them to take big damage. Alright, you know what? I'm going to use items here. I'm going to use a Petra Berry. Heal this poison. It's going to go for Protect. It'll fail. And hopefully, before it can just poison me again, I'll get a critical hit in this. It missed! Oh, yeah, that's so good. Alright, and now all that's left is finishing it off. Goes for Drill Pack. Luckily, I did lower its uh, attack. Still did a lot of damage. Alright. So far, off to a good start. Gengar. Ooh, I'm pretty sure that can learn Thunder. That's definitely why I'd be switching it out. Uh, let's see. Alright, Leafeon might be able to do some good damage with uh, Psychic type attack. Because if it's switching it against uh, Gyarados, I guarantee that thing has Thunder or Thunderbolt, which means it would just KO Knock Owl. But Psycho Cut, that's good damage. Gengar's really OP, but I hope Leafeon can just survive a hit. Alright, we survive one hit. Please let me get a critical hit or something. Let me just one hit KO this guy. Uh, I need one more hit. I'll just try one more time. <gasps> it went for Thunder! It missed! Oh, I'm getting so lucky with these misses right now. This music is so good. Gengar is really scary, because it's really fast and hits like a truck. Alright, next up is Magmar. Uh, well, I'll just go ahead and send in Gyarados and use Aqua Tail. Since he's out. I don't know if Magmar is a special or physical. Fire's usually special, so I'm guessing a special attacker, but just in case he has any physical moves, now they're lowered. Oh no, that was really bad for Gyarados. Hopefully the super effective and stab of Aqua Tail can still make it do good damage. Alright, cause, yeah, I would have KO'd if I didn't get burned. Burns half the power of, uh, physical attacks. Oh, and he is a special attacker. Ah, yes, at least we can finish off this Magmar. There we go. Ooh, really low enough. Alright. 
Gyarados is already going down right now. So, I'm just going to have him use Aqua Tail again, try and do as much damage as he can. Ah, uh, Shockwave, that's double super effective. Alakazam is another incredibly fast, incredibly strong physical attacker. Having Shockwave is really bad, because that means I can't just send in Knockdown to use Shadow Ball. Right, I'll send in Leafeon. Hopefully Leafeon can outspeed and at least get a bite in. Oh. Mm. Maybe Golem would be good since... He's really strong and doesn't, uh, he doesn't have any weaknesses to any of Alakazam's stuff. Oh, Alakazam has- oh no! I didn't know he'd have that! Please, Golem, please live. Please live, you're, you're a tank. Live one. Oh no! I only beat the last two guys, like, the first two guys, Gengar and Honchko, because of getting lucky with misses. I can't lose now. Like, I think, I, I swear, if this thing has a water move, eh, I'm just, I'm, I'm screwed. I just gotta hope that's Shadow Claw. His physical bulk is not good, so hopefully Shadow Claw can do some really good damage. Critical hit or something. No! It's not quite enough. Oh, my God. Alright, here, I'll switch to Blastoise. So that Typhlosion doesn't go down. And I'll hope Aqua Jet can KO. Come on, Blastoise, you're bulky, please. Ugh, oh, man. This thing is too overpowered. Alright, please. Mystic Water, Stab Boost, Critical It. Thank you. Alright, as long as he doesn't have any more BS on his team, I'm good. Electabuzz. That would have been really good for Golem. You know what? I'm just switching in Knocked Owl. Knocked Owl clearly isn't just too useful against most of his team since they all have electric coverage. And the last guy's gonna be for Alligator. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use one of these revives I got and just revive Golem. Thunder Wave. Alright, so Knockdown is not even down. I guess I'll just... Uh... It's still probably gonna go for an electric type move, so I'll switch to Golem, because it should be a free switch. Since he's immune to electric. Yep. Alright, and now he's got a Land Earthquake. Well, not- No! Oh my god, it has focus- What am I gonna do against this? You guys have to fucking sorry sorry about the swearing, but sometimes I don't know, this this battle I as I already established in previous videos, I hate when you use items and then you just still lose, because then you, you just waste a bunch of friggin' items. Now I just used my last revive. I was hoping to be able to still be able to heal up. Alright, this time, I use a Hyper Potion, get Golem up to max health. Alright, yeah, if I still lose after using up all this crap, I'm just gonna quit, re-enter, and just hope for getting lucky again. No, it hits again! At the time, it has like 70 accuracy. Alright, come on. Please live one. Yes! Oh my god. Like, I don't know, this is, this is honestly really stressful and I'm not even enjoying it. I don't, I'm not looking forward to having to fight this guy again later. For alligator. 
Oh. Oh, no. Ah, shit. I used my last revive. Hey, why so serious? Ah, I used my last friggin' revive. So I can't revive Leafeon. Leafeon was my best bet. I just have to hope it doesn't have anything good against Blastoise, really. <sighs> I just hope Blastoise can somehow win, because all I have is some healing items now. I'm gonna go for a Thunder Punch here, though. Just to... Ooh! I outspeed! Please do big damage. Paralyze. Something. Uh oh. I really needed to do more damage there. Fairy Typhlosion somehow lives? No. Man, uh, one down to one guy. Yeah, if I lose, I'm just going to quit out, buy a crap ton of revives, and then try again. Alright, Brick Break is neutral, but it's not stab. However, his physical attack is actually better than his special attack, so I'm gonna go with Brick Break. Oh yeah, that speeds. Please don't do much damage. Alright. Please do a lot. Oh, that did nothing! Alright, I'm, I'm gonna see if Surf does more just with, uh... It being stabbed and boosted by Mystic Water and stuff. Uh, still not doing a whole lot. Hold on, this is really scary. Alright, I'm playing a better safe than sorry. I'm not trusting that Aqua Jet's gonna kill right there with it being resisted. I'm healing. Ooh, it went for Waterfall. It got cocky. Holy crap, I still did like the same amount of damage as Crunch. I'm going for Surf again. Looks like it discovered that using its stab is also a good idea. As long as they don't get flinched. And I was gonna say, even if it lives, I have Aqua Jet, so... <sighs> that was stressful, not even fun. Why? Why do I lose? I've assembled the toughest Pokemon. I didn't use up on the gas, so why did I lose? You barely didn't lose. I only won because I had a bunch of items. I don't understand. Is that why what that Lance guy is what that Lance guy said true? That I don't treat Pokemon properly? Love, trust. Are they really what I lack? Are they keeping me from winning? I just don't understand. Well, it's not going to end here. Not now. Not because of this. I won't give up my dream of becoming the world's best Pokemon trainer. Dang it! I opened the bag instead of answering the phone. Blastoise seems to be feeling great about walking with you. I'm safe. <laughs> it's kinda weird that just plays like the spooky cave music instead of like Team Rocket music here. Alright. Yeah, legitimately that felt like I just lost like 10 years off of my life. I gotta heal up. I have a slightly below half health blast voice, and that's it. <laughs> Here, those is feeling better. Gyarados began poking you in the stomach. I don't know, I think a giant sea dragon doing that would be a little bit painful. <laughs> Those dialogue blurbs are always so funny. 
Now I just gotta fight through this Team Rocket base. I don't care if you're lost. You show up here, you're nothing but a victim. Oh, only one Pokemon, Persian. So Persian is usually a physical attacker, I feel like. And that cuts its attack. I'm just gonna switch out the Golem. This Golem is A, a physical tank. B... Uh, resist normal. Oh, that's power gem. It's kind of weird. But yeah, with resisting that, it's doing nothing. Gonna use rock smash. Oh, no, it speeds. You I mean, yeah, that's barely any damage. And rock power gem doesn't have any secondary moves. Rock smash, big damage, big damage. Yeah, Slash was what I was thinking it was going to do. That actually did more damage than Power Gem. Yeesh. Erk, yeah, you think you're cool, huh? Open one door, another closes. Bet you can't get where you want to go. Rhyhorn. That's a good lead for Gyarados. Rhyhorn's a physical attacker, and Aqua Tail will do good. Gyarados should have been Dragon or Dark type. It either should have been Dragon from the beginning, or Gen 2 should have made it Dark type. Like, flying just really doesn't make that much sense for it. Wait, Horn Drill isn't that the one at KO move? Holy crap, it lands with a 30% accurate one-hit KO move, of course. Man, even running that is ballsy. And it's only because I lost the... Aqua Tail is so weird, like... It's 90 power. Why does it have a 10% chance to miss when, like, Flamethrower is 90 power and has a 0% chance to miss? Like, it's just so weird. Why is it worse than its fight than flamethrower? Last resort. That's a strong normal type move. It's really powerful and you have to use all your moves in the battle. Yeah, but I think the type coverage is better. Give up. Haunter switch Pokemon. Alright, so that thing's gonna have, uh, Levitate, so Golem won't be that useful against it. Alright, time for Shadow Ball or Extra Sensory? I think they're both about the same, but Shadow Ball has a chance to do a, a special defense drop. That was good damage, good damage. Alright, now I'm gonna use extra sensory. Since Knocked Owl has a good psychic type move now. Zen Headbutt sucked. Not only did it have the same power level as extra sensory, but it could not have the same power level, same chance to flinch, but not a chance to miss. When extra sensory has the same power level, chance to flinch, can't miss, and also overall is just it's also better for Knocked Owl specifically because of the whole, you know, being a special attacker. Now here's an interesting thing. Do I use, utilize his special attack for extra sensory or his stab for fly? I'm gonna try fly. Oh, insomnia! Giga Drain misses and it goes down. Ooh, it barely lived. I 
All right, I'll just go for extra sensory now. Yeah, Giga Drain, that's not doing much. Yes, Giga Drain must be its best move. It doesn't have any stab poison options. I guess, yeah, Venomoth only gets... What do you mean it's not very effective? Did they change Venomoth's type? Poison is weak to Psychic. And Bug doesn't resist it. Sometimes there's some... I don't know if it's glitches, like port errors or something. Oh, and of course it gets the crit. Now it's gonna be just barely out of KO range. That does piss me off because I'm taking a bunch of extra damage because the game is like messed up or something. It's supposed to be weak to Psychic. Venomoth is Bug Poison. Bug doesn't resist the po Psychic and Poison is weak to Psychic. So what the hell is going on? Guess I'll use Fly again. Like, I don't know if they made changes to the type chart or something. Or if there's just like a glitch. But it's really annoying. Yeah, now, I I was in like the high green. I had barely taken any damage. And I would have still been in the high green if it wasn't for that. I don't know, they, they just decided that, uh oh, uh, it's, it's a good idea to change the type matchup for some reason. Pretty sure that the last green switch is the one to press last, I think. So I got all angry, but like, what just blindsides you with a random like here? Let, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna check the Pokédex even. Oh, of course I don't know its type because I haven't caught it. But yeah, that's ridiculous. Oh look, a thief. I also gotta pick up this item. Smoke ball lets you lets you run away no matter what. Fork over your goods. Burglar Duncan. Here's Magmar, here's Letheon. Not a good lead, I'm switching to Blastoise. Of course it goes for a status move. Like every NPC in this game uh, has some kind of cringe status. Alright. Hit through the confusion. Surf should be good. Down goes Magmar. Grimer. Grimer? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna use Knocked Out, try and get some health back. Because, yeah, Poison's weak to Psychic, let me show you. So, unless they made Venomoth Psychic type, even though it's literally Venomoth, Venom is in its name, it's supposed to be Poison type. Yeah, Psychic, super effective on Poison. Weird that that didn't KO. I really thought I would've won a KO'd since it's a friggin' Grimer instead of even being mo- Of course, Poison. As if the last 10 trainers hadn't all been using Poison teams. Where they either use Toxic or just got really lucky with Sludge Bomb always poisoning. The Cargo, yeah that's a good one for Blastoise to use his water against. Alright, Surf time. Surf's up, brah. <laughs> and down goes my cargo.
There we go. Mercy. Steel and cell, that's basically a time kit. Uh, why is it always like the times I decide that I want to uh, talk to the NPC after battling it is always right when I get a phone call right as I press the select button. And yeah, I'm not dealing with this poison thing, so I gotta run back and heal up. Poisoning faded away. Yeah, because that means he's at 1 HP, so yeah, I'm gonna heal up now. Since I have multiple fainted Pokemon, and... Actually, I think Gyarados is my only fainted one. I have Gyarados fainted and knocked out at one health. There we go. I like messing with the left side of my mouth and it made that weird noise. I hate when that happens. Alright, let's at least finish off the last of these trainers. Ooh, will this be a double battle? They ditched this project before they finished. I'm searching for the leftover loot. Orson. All right. I think we're both gonna have intimidate. Yep. It's now we're both on minus one attack. But I mean, super effective stab Aqua Tail will still probably KO. Down it goes. And Gary does get some EXP. Gets a level up. Coughing. Yeah, that's best for Knocked Owl to handle since it's, uh, since Psychic is better against Coughing since Ground can't hit it. Extra Sensory. Level up for Knocked Owl. Rapidash. Huh, the buttons aren't responding. There we go. Alright, uh... Gyarados is still the lowest level, so I'm gonna switch back to him instead of Blastoise. I don't think I've really ever used a regular blue Gyarados. I always use the shiny red one here and then... Oh no, Fury Attack, uh If a multi-hit move isn't like Stab, it doesn't really do much. Stab is same type attack boost. So strong. The underground Warehouse? What do you want to go there for? There's nothing down there. Wahaha! <laughs> Confounded by the doors, are we? I'll let you in on a secret if you can beat me. Alright. Skarmory. Well, Steel resists ice, so Ice Fang becomes just neutral. I'm gonna switch to Typhlosion, use fire. Drill pack. Flamethrower. There we go. Pile of swine. Ah, uh, let's see. Yeah, Gyarados is the lowest level, and Piloswine, since it's part ground, makes it weak to water. Oops. 
intimidate Aqua Tail. I blew it. Alright, a hint. Look at the color of the door switch. If you push the color switch and the same color door opens up. Oh yeah. I already knew how it worked. I just wanted to see what he had to say. Since he said he'd tell me something. Alright. So. Blue. And then, oh, that worked. Are you lost? No, you can't be. You don't know that scared. Look, I'll give you something to be scared about. Checking your BS. Smell some ham or something in another room. Someone must be making a sandwich. It smells good. It's so weird seeing like these super high level not evolved Pokemon. Ice coverage is really good. Nice. Dodrio. Acupressure. Sharply rose the attack. Can't let this thing stay alive. Uh oh. Hopefully another Ice Fang can deal with it. Oh, it's going for more setup when it's this low. It's already super fast. It should have just went for some strong move to KO while it has max attack. Cool. And down to Drio goes. You were so close to leveling up. How could you? Alright. I'm thinking... The King's Rock. I'm considering uh, switching it out since he doesn't really... Uh, like, I might use the wide lens instead so that it can have higher accuracy. Since... Uh, like, it doesn't really usually leave opponents alive to even flinch them. I might give him Waterfall. That I'm gonna give him Waterfall over Aqua Tail. It'll have a chance to flinch, and it's 100% accurate. You're not going any further. I don't show mercy to my enemies, especially not brats. It's actually the wide lens would make it essentially be 100% accurate. Alright, lower its attack. I think it's a special attacker, though. Alright, I'm gonna switch to Golem, because he's my guy for fighting... For not fighting types for normal types. That's actually really bad. Lowering my defense. Alright, rock smash time. We went for it again. I'm sure I can rock smash it. And, ooh, stomp. As long as I don't get flinched. Oh yeah, even with... Two sp Alright, so I got flinched. But even with two screeches, it only did like 20 damage. Does this thing have a King's Rock? Increase its chance to flinch? Oh, that crunch has got to do a lot. Because I don't resist it. A little bit frustrating getting uh, flinched that many times. I would still be up in like the green health if that didn't happen. Blast it. I lost. Please forgive me, Giovanni. Alright. Max Ether. Yuck, 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 I remember you. You're good. You got me out of our hideout. The gear's getting a bit low. I'm gonna grab a power cord. Oh, Tauros. That'll be good for Gyarados, because that lowers its attack. Oh, 
Oh, they both have Intimidate. Ah, dang it. All right. I'm gonna switch out the Golem. He should still be good, because with lowered attack and how good Golem's defenses are when he hasn't been screeched twice, and resisting that, yeah, we're good. Rock Smash. Sand Headbutt missed, yo. Got the defense drop, which means Rock Smash will now be enough to, oh, he's actually switching out to Weezing. If I get the defense drop, I might just go with double edge. I kind of want to just try out double edge. Double hit missed! Since I have the... What's it called? The rock head ability. I don't even take recoil. Alright, I didn't really do that much. Gotta switch to knocked out to utilize his extra sensory. All right, extra sensory should deal with this. There we go. Marktal gets some XP, Golem gets some XP, levels up. Tauros, and now I'll just switch back to Golem. I forgot it would have Intimidate. Rock Smash should still do good. Yeah, take down. That did like 10 damage last time. Ooh, that did more this time. Alright. I did get my attack cut. Yeah. Take down. I can take one more. Alright. And Rock Smash finishes it off. Yuck, 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 so that's how you did it. I heard, I heard, I heard. You smashed Team Rocket's hideout. You're like a movie hero, even. But, um, what was Team Rocket? I'm totally out of the loop, aren't I? Alright, I'll go save the director and I'll see what's up those stairs. How'd you get this far? I guess it can't be helped. Well, helped. I'll dispose of you. Hitmonlee. So Gyarados does at least resist Hitmonlee. Plus, lowering its physical attack is good. Am I gonna switch to Knocked Owl? Mind Reader? What does that do? Perk Aim? Does that mean it doesn't miss? So, like, he's playing on using High Jump Kick? I'm gonna use Fly. Oh, he's Blaze Kick. Well, with his attack drop, this should be fine. Mind Reader. Yeah, Fly is super effective and it's Stab. There we go. Down Hitmonlee goes. There's some on my screen. Steelix, wow. Uh, let's see. I can either use water or fire against it. Let's see. Now since all of those guys are actually level 43, everyone's level 43 except Golem's 46, I'm gonna switch to Typhlosion since now that they're all the same level, he actually has the least HP. Alright, Flamethrower. Steelix's special bulk isn't nearly as good as his physical. Down he goes. Steelix is very cool though. Level 44. I got disposed of.
Sleep talk. I'm not using rest teams. Who? What? You came to rescue me? Thank you. The radio tower. What's happening there? Taken over by Team Rocket. Here, take this card key. Use that to open the shutters on the third floor. I'm begging you to help. There's no telling what they'll do if they control the transmitter. And maybe even be able to control Pokemon using a special signal. You're the only one I can call on. Please save the radio tower and all the Pokemon nationwide. Alright, gonna save. Amulet coin. Oh, now I'm in the department store warehouse. Alright, I'll just go up a floor. I love the Pokemart music. Alright, now before I head back to the radio tower, I'm gonna heal up. Heal. Check OBS. Check it again. 40 minutes. One sec. Yeah, my hair kind of feels like a mess this morning. But I think I got it working good. Alright. Gyarados looks very happy. Here we go. It's a card key slot. Why the door open? Did you have something to do with this? Two Pokemon. Marowak. Yeah, both lowering its physical attack, being immune to its ground type stab, and wa uh, strong water type stab against it. This is a very good matchup. There we go. Victory Bell. Yeah, for this... I'll switch to Knocked Owl since it's lower level than Typhlosion. Alright, and it's fly time. Ooh, we outspeed. Razor Leaf. Ooh, so close. Yikes, that did a lot. Now, as long as they didn't change Victory Bell's type matchup, uh, typing like they did with uh, the other guy, uh, Venomoth, we're good. Oh, this is a bleak moment. Much made faster men on the ground, how could you have? Now we're there's Proton like they were talking like that person was talking about. Now nah, just wait one second. Aren't you the one who got in our way at Slowpoke Well? I see, so you're doing all this because you want to make me angry. Be careful! But since you seem to wish it, I'll show you the full extent of a Team Rocket executive's wrath. Oh no, it's another full six Pokemon boss battle. Ah, oh, this is like 
this is a really bad lead. I'm double weak to it, and Electrode is a special attacker. But at least I can... It's definitely going for an Electro-type move on Gyarados. Yep, Thunder doesn't affect Golem. And it's time to Earthquake. Protect. With Drew, it's probably going to a flying type. Oh, there's Cacturn. You're not very effective. But with that crit, it still did insane damage. I don't want to risk taking four times super effective damage right here, though. I'm going to switch to Leafeon, because Leafeon's very fast and can just uh, attack with Aerial Ace next turn. Oh, he used a Hyper Potion. So I could have switched to someone. I could switch to Typhlosion or something instead. Yeah, Aerial Ace should be good to go here. Yep, that'll be a 2 at KO. Focus Blast misses, yo! Very lucky for me. There we go. Next up is Weezing. I'll switch to Knocked Owl for this. He uses Psychic type attacks. Extra sensory. That'll be a two at KO. I mean, since I went first, there's actually a chance I made him flinch. Oh, but it missed the thunder. Jeez, why is like every single Pokemon in this game have thunder? They just really don't like flying types being around. Electrode. Yep, and now this is a switching to Golem moment. Alright. Earthquake. Rain Dance? Oh, so Thunder won't miss. I guess the AI must have just clicked on it because it was like, oh, water, that's four times effective. <laughs> Camera up. Alright. You set up the rain right before sending in a wa sending in a fire type that's A, weak to water, so water moves are going to be even more boosted against it. And B, fire moves are made weaker in the rain. <laughs> so yeah, Surf, four times effective. Rain boosted, Stab, and Mystic Water. This is an insane boost. There we go. Alright, and next up is Tauros. So I'll be back to Golem to use Rock Smash. Oh, but there's Intimidate, that's right. Well, Rock Smash will still do good damage to the Super Effect. Oh, Earthquake! The last few Tauroses I fought didn't have that. Well, it's probably going to go for Earthquake again, so it's a free switch to Knockdown or Gyarados. I'm going to go to Gyarados so that I can A, lower his attack, and hit with super strong physical attacks back. Mm-hmm. There we go. Alright. And, yeah, Aqua Tail time. Take down, but your attack has been lowered. That has to be a critical hit. Oh my god. 
That was insane! Since when does Takedown have the ability to 1 hit KO? Alright, so Golem... Alright. His... As long as he doesn't get a crit, there's a chance I survive this now that his attack's been lowered. Yes! That attack drop was very important. Oh no! And the defense drop. Golem's going down. Sad to say that. I mean, I'm gonna go heal up anyways, because Gyarados got entirely fainted and Golem's just low on health. I'm actually gonna switch to Blastoise. He'll take a small amount of damage and I'll just use uh, Aqua Jet. There we go. And last but not least is Crobat. Which Golem would be good against since he both resists poison and flying. Uh, it's a really good physical defense and a super effective stab to hit back. Seriously, you chased me this far? Alright, hopefully I can live one and use strength. Alright, our physical defense is really good and we resist. Come on! We actually lived! Like I was hoping, but I wasn't really counting on it, but that's really good. I mean, now I'll just let Golem go down and last Pokemon in the battle. Heat wave, that's kind of a random one to use. Alright, uh, let's see. Now my only super effective attacks, I have Thunder Punch and Extra Sensory. I'm gonna go for Extra Sensory since that's using Noctowl's better special attack. Ooh, but that's probably gonna do a good damage. Oh no, it is KO even. At least it has recoil. Alright, hopefully Typhlosion can live an attack this time and use Thunder Punch. God, what are you? Alright, come on Typhlosion, you're at full, you're a fully evolved starter, you can live a Brave Bird. Yes. Now it just made it easier for Thunder Punch to KO. And down it goes. Whew. Kinda call. So, but Audi, it's Chad. How are you? The Pokemon League is the great gathering place for all trainers who wish to become the champion. Professor Oak acts as an advisor to the Pokemon League's headquarters. He really is a great man. See you later. That's kind of random to call and talk about Professor Oak and the Pokemon League right now. You may have won this time, but all you did was make Team Rocket's wrath grow. Whoops. An Ultra Ball. Because yeah, after a boss fight like that, low on health. Check OBS, 54 minutes. Oh, that was just a little lighting glitch. It looked like there was something like right along like these pixels right here. There we go. I wish Gyarados would learn, like, Crunch or something. Because that would be much better Dark-type coverage than Bite on Leafeon. I love this music.
Oh, next it's time for another boss battle. Go up for observation deck. Hey you, remember me from the hideout in Mahogany Town? This time. Haha, <laughs> this time it looks like you're really all alone, all alone. So it should be quite easy. Bring it, let's finish this. Jinx, oh no. Now, like, if I had Crunch, I'd just go for Crunch right now rather than switching out. But as it stands, I don't really have anything that good against it, so I'm switching to Typhlosion. Oh no, that's the sleep one, isn't it? Alright, fine. I'll use friggin'. Oh, it says I have 437 full heals. I think. I think there's some kind of glitch there. I don't think I've picked up that many full heals. Alright, and now I can flamethrower since I should outspeed. Yeah. And Jinx, this weird Pokemon should go down. Hmm. Alright, my low tick. Ah, no. Let's see. Leafeon's my own super effective stab. Alright, bullet seed time. It outspeeds? Oh, no. At least we resist. Alright. Alright, like five hits should do the job. Ooh. But at least uh, only two more should. Oh! Haunch Crow. Yeah, that's not the best. At least I get some chip damage off on it. Critical hit. Three times. Alright, we'll probably go for a flying move, so I'm gonna switch to Golem. Brave Bird. Yeah, I have really good physical defense, I resist, I should be good. Mm -hmm. Now time to use Strength. It goes for Brave Bird again. We should be fine. Yeah, we eat this. It's hit with recoil, and now strength definitely KOs. Alright, yeah, we're good. Alright, Vile Plume. Uh, let's see. That's another one for Typhlosion to take down real quick with his flamethrower. I know I could use Knockdown with uh, Psychic or, well not Psychic, uh, Extra Sensory or Fly, but I think Flamethrower would be good to use here. Ooh. Ah. Oh. So I guess it would have been better to have Knockdown out. I mean, I have 436 full heals, so I'm not concerned about using those anymore. So yeah, like some glitch happened, that's... Yikes. That's low on health. Lamp Thrower should finish it off. And my Lodix coming back out to be uh, knocked around by Letheon. Bullet Seed. Yeah, judging by the fact that I was using Surf, it doesn't have Ice Beam. 
But judging by the damage from last time, two hits should honestly be enough. Yep. And down my low tick goes. Arbok. Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna give uh, Knocked Owl a turn out to use his attacks now. The, this side of my nose, like, the outside, like, edge is itchy and it's annoying. Intimidate cuts my attack. Luckily, I'm going for a special attack. Oh, no. Gung Shot is a really powerful move. Alright, we lived, but we got poisoned. I mean, with all low on health, we were, we were got, like, got knocked out next turn anyways. Like, unless I miss his gunk shot. Just for Thunder Fang. Alright. So that switching to Golem would have been free. I considered it in my head, but I did, went, didn't do it because I didn't want him to uh, be swapped into big damage. It has Earthquake! Okay, this Arbok is actually a problem. Come on, Golem. It's not even stabbed, you can... Ah, yeah, you live it. Now we'll show you what a real Earthquake is like. There we go. Level 47. Her ugly. Alright, down to the last one. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Alright, rock smash time. Uses protect. Weird. Doesn't have speed boost. <laughs> Body slam. Hopefully we can take it. We resist. Oh yeah, we can even take another one. Defense drop? Ah, uh, no. Alright, yeah, 5 health. And Golem doesn't have a quick claw or priority or anything, so... Mm -hmm. oh, why are you so strong? Oh, I used a Hyper Potion. Guess it's a good thing I didn't switch out. I was just like, yeah, I'll just click Rock Smash again. I thought I'm gonna survive. But yeah, with its defense drop, a super effective Rock Smash. Yeah. Alright, its physical defense is lowered, so... I'll hit physically with... Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Blastoise is Brick Break. Protect. Guess it's just scouting out what I'm about to do. Yeah, Progly is weirdly fast. And the Paralyze. Alright, but Brick Break still hits. There we go. Aye, this can't be happening. Well, waste. Not to use your strength to do bad things. <laughs> People like you will never understand in a million... Will never in a million years understand their brilliance. It's too bad if really come to respect your strength. Alright, and now I'm gonna heal up because on the observation deck is gonna be the final uh, executive battle. Against Archer. Ah, my chin. Just had a sudden random sting. I don't know what that's about. My elbows are getting tired of resting on the table while I'm pressing these buttons. Alright, hour and five minutes, I can finish up the Team Rocket thing. 
Let's do it to put him into full health. There's a hair on my screen. There we go. Or was it just a smudge? I don't know what it was, but something was on my screen. Check an OBS one more time to make sure this has all been good. Yeah. Whoops. Now we go to the observation deck. Time for the final battle. Very Gyarados is very eager for this battle. That's what Gyarados has to say about Archer. Gyarados is surveying the area. Oh, he managed to get this far yet again. You must be quite the trainer. We've taken over this radio tower and have officially announced our comeback. It should bring our boss Giovanni back from his solitary training. We are going to regain our former glory. I will not allow you to interfere with our meticulous plans. The final boss. Of Team Rocket, at least. Zangus. Alright, cut the attack. With its attack drop, and uh, Golem having really good physical defense, and Zangus being a physical attacker, Golem should be a good switch. Crush Claw. Alright, no defense drop, that's good. Rock Smash time. Shadow Claw, interesting. Critical hit, that's why I went for that. It does have a high crit ratio. Oh, but this will be an easy 2 hit KO. Oh, that's actually a good use of Disable. Alright, let's see what Double Edge can do. And it's close combat? Why didn't it just go for that? Oh no. Come on, you can take it, Golem. Whew. Alright, with its defense being lowered, Double Edge has got to do, like, this guy KO. It's super strong, we have super good attack, and its defense is down. Gyarados. Alright. Ooh, Typhlosion's my only one with Electric-type coverage. He's weak to water. Well, like, Thunder Punch is super good against this guy. Oh, but my physical attack even goes down. You know what? I'm actually gonna do a Gyarados Mirror Match. I'm gonna switch to my other Gyarados, lower his attack. Earthquake doesn't affect me. Nice. Alright, Ice Fang will at least be a strong physical attack that hits neutrally. Spraying up. It's using bounce, that's for sure. Gotta switch to Golem. Let him take the brunt of the attack. Oh, Golem lives. I mean, there's a chance I can use strength now. Nope, Waterfall is gonna KO for sure. Alright, time for another attack drop for Gyarados. There we go. Now Ice Fang should be able to do good damage. Alright, I'll just be using Ice Fang again. I should have given him the wide lens. Oh my god. It has a 5% chance to miss. Maybe I can get a critical hit though to make up for that? Nope. I don't know what I'm gonna do against this thing.
dang, got paralyzed. Alright, so it's locked into bounds. As long as Typhlosion doesn't get paralyzed or anything, he should be able to hit with Thunder Punch then. And it missed! Nice. Thunder Punch. Please KO, please KO. It's double super effective. <sighs> Thank you. That's a level up for Typhlosion. Drapion. That would be a really good time to have Golem around. Use his ground type attacks. I guess I'll at least just switch Gyarados in to lower his attack. Since, yeah, I didn't buy any revives. Yeah, lowering his attack. Yeah, his only weakness is ground. So let's hope I can survive and use Aqua Tail for at least one turn. Nope, no chip damage. Maybe Blastoise can at least just be strong enough. Alright, surf time. Alright, we have good defense. Come on. Yeah. Time for another one. Hopefully I catch him in like the yellow so he's just barely not gonna heal. Oh, but well he has a berry. I don't know if Surf is enough to KO now. Please be enough to KO. Ooh, thank you. Level up for Blastoise. Pound Doom. That's good for. That's good against. And Blastoise is good against that. Yeah, it does intimidate, but yeah, like Surf will still do big damage. Ooh, please live one. Please live one, Blastoise. Ah. Not my best bet is Typhlosion of all things. Maybe it'll make a mistake and go for a Fire type move. Because if I get Flash Fire boosted, then I'll definitely be going for Flamethrower. Ooh, I got the Para. Nice. Alright, now I'll see if Flamethrower does more just from being stabbed and using my better special attack. Now my thing is good against Fire aren't around. Sunny Day, that just boosts my fire moves. If I had Solar Beam, it would also be really good to use that, but... Yeah, Flamethrower. Now it's just gotta do more damage, because Sunny Day boosts fire-type moves. Fire Blast and Flash Fire increases my power! So I was hoping you would uh, go for something like that. Use Fire Blast or Flamethrower. Increase my fire moves. Since this Typhlosion has Flash Fire. Now even though it's not very effective. Between Stab, Sunlight boosting it, Flash Fire boosting it, and uh, the Charcoal boosting it. It's gonna be, like, it's still gonna do big damage. As we saw, it did over half. Very lucky that Houndoom had Intimidate instead of Flash Fire. Machamp. Yeah, I'm just staying in with Typhlosion and I'm going to utilize Sun and my Flash Fire boost will go away if I switch out. So while I'm ultimately boosted with both the Sun, Flash Fire, Charcoal, Stab, like, I'm just going to take use of all that. Ooh, dang. Almost got KO. And it missed! And the sunlight faded. Alright, I'm just going to go for... I'll just go for Flamethrower again. It's 100% accurate. There's no reason not to. 
I'm gonna heal up before the next major thing anyways. Scizor. <laughs> Even if I wasn't boosted, this would KO. We can't have you getting in the way before news of our resurgence reaches the Giovanni. But yeah, it's still stab, charcoal boosted, and flash fire boosted, so... Flamethrower is still gonna KO for sure. It'd probably KO even if I didn't have charcoal or flash fire. Just because it's four times effective. Double super effective. And that's a level up for Typhlosion. Roll out. Nah, his physical attack isn't really that great. Like, it's not good enough to have a move that... Whoops. To have a move that I already have better options for. Like, strength is already the better option. If I really wanted to teach him a rock-type move, I'd give him strength. How could this be? Our dreams have come to naught. I was not up to the task after all. Like Giovanni has done before me, I'll disband Team Rocket here today. Farewell. Giovanni, sir, you've returned. That definitely doesn't happen in the original. That's definitely new. Ooh. My rival is marked by a kid beating a Team Rocket executive. Disgraceful. Listen, kid. I'm 19. I'm not a kid. You've grown. You've gotten yourself involved in grown-up matters. I'll show you the power of Team Rocket and the fruits of our plans. Prepare to expe experience a world of pain. Oh no, and I don't get a heal before this? Oh no, it heals me up. That's good. Alright, he's going for Persian. Gyarados will lower its physical attack. That's insane that they added the Giovanni battle at the end of this. Gonna switch over to Golem now, since he'll resist. Fake out. Yeah, between resisting and his uh, attack being lowered. Alright, attack is still lowered, so I should still be good. Oh, but it's a critical hit. Maybe defense drop? Alright, but Rock Smash should still be enough to KO again. And as long as this isn't a critical hit, it shouldn't do too much damage. A critical hit again? Yeesh. But Persian is dealt with easily. Rhyperior. I'm gonna switch back to Gyarados, lower its physical attack, and hit back with a uh, strong four times effective water moves. Level 50? This is an insane level jump. Aqua Tail should still be able to do good damage, though. Since it's double super effective, Gyarados has an astronomical physical attack stat, and it's stab. Ooh, just barely not enough. But at least he won't be healed to full. Stone Edge, ooh, that's super effective stab. But maybe Gyarados can take one? No. And clearly Rhyperior is slow, like, let me check. Gyarados' speed was 78. What's Blastoise's speed? 87, so Blastoise will still outspeed. Leafeon could actually... It might actually be better to use Leafeon, because Leafeon has a better attack has better attacking stats than Blastoise's special attack. So between Stab, the really good physical attack, and uh, the Miracle Seed, it should be good. Ooh, there we go. Leafeon levels up. Nido King. All right. I'm actually gonna use Knocked Owl, since Ground is some that it, what's it called is weak to that Nido King that Golem is weak to, and also these guys always have like friggin' double kick. Oh, it has Ice Beam. Come on, Knocked Owl, you have good special bulk. All right, we at least live one. We can fire off an extra sensory. Hmm. 
Maybe he goes for something really stupid this turn. Nope, goes for Ice Beam again. Yeah. Alright, I still think actually Blastoise is the best choice since he isn't weak to ground. And Surf will do big damage. Yes, Thunderbolt! Are you kidding me? I thought this thing was supposed to be a physical attacker, but that's Ice Beam and Thunderbolt. Alright. Please, Surf, you need to KO. Alright. Kangas gone. Alright, that'll be a good one for Golem to go up against. Alright, Rock Smash. Ooh, low kick. And Golem's heavy. Alright, that was bad. Um, well, Blastoise still has Brick Break. So hopefully Blastoise can outspeed and use Brick Break. Or, oh no, please live one, please live one. Lived on one! Alright, what healing items do I have? A berry juice that heals 20 HP. Yeah, I'm not. I'm just gonna have to go for Aqua Jet. Get some chip. Because it did do, do more than 20 points of damage, so berry juice isn't really good. Leafeon is a strong physical attacker and isn't weak to Earthquake. So I'm just gonna go for Stab Bullet Seed. And hopefully I can get a really good roll. Now I need like full 5 to hit. Yeesh. Hit two times. Double Edge? Come on, please live one. Alright, yeah, we're good. No! How am I gonna beat it? Oh no! My attacks. Oh no, 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 this is bad. Because I don't do nearly enough damage to KO it even. And I only got two hits? Ooh, I outsped that time. Come on, give me a full five, please. I need big damage. Alright, four times is at least still good damage. Maybe I can live on one again? Lived on ten. Alright. If I get another good roll, Bullet Seed should KO. Please, please, like four times. Maybe it only need three. Ooh, it only needed two because of that crit. Whew. Oh man. Oh. Neato Queen. I don't have anything good against this anymore. So I just have to hope I can outspeed and you get some good damage of Psycho Cut. Maybe a critical hit KO? No. Maybe can miss? No. <sighs> yeah, I don't think I'm winning this. I need to go, like, get max revives if I want to beat this... This is an insane level jump. Like, it's even way stronger than the previous guy. I just have to hope Flamethrower can... Maybe I can get a burn? Maybe I can do, just do really good damage? Toxic. Great, now I'm on a timer. Alright, I do actually have a lot of full restores, so this isn't the worst. Not full restores, uh, full heals. No, it's using friggin' Toxic Protect! Ugh, I should have seen that coming and healed this turn. Alright, I swear to god, if it goes for a double protect... Alright, at least it went for it, but it didn't get it. That's good. Please KO, please KO, please KO. Thank you. Alright, we're down to a 1v1. Yeah, I should have healed the Toxic on the last turn. Tauros. 
What in the world is that? Don't tell me some inexperienced kid can possibly be that strong. Alright, at least I'm going for special attacks. Oh, but that is Earthquake! Yeah, if I thought revives, I just don't see how I can win. <sighs> All right, video is about an hour and a half. There, I, there's one battle left on the top of that tower. I'm gonna at least try it one more time. Let's see, I don't remember which floor is... Like... Heal items and stuff. Battle collection. Nope. Maybe it was floor two. Trainer's market. Alright, yeah, this is just have the basic Pokemart stuff. Alright. Okay. Doesn't look like there's max revives or full restores available. Alright, so yeah, I've been saving up my money, I'm just gonna buy, like, thirty max potions, and a lot of revives, forty revives. Alright, and if I get- next time if I get toxic, I'll use one of those full heals that- Like, I don't know how I suddenly have over 400 full heals. Alright, time to get back into it. Here though seems to be feeling great about walking with you. Too bad there's not an elevator that you unlock, like, after beating the lighthouse. Next stop, observation deck. Or the observation deck. Alright, oh, managed to get this far yet again. You must be quite the terrain. We've taken over this radio tower and officially announced our comeback. You have to fight Archer again? At least it does give you a full heal, and I beat him without using items, so I should be good to beat him without using items again. I guess it's not the worst thing. I'll at least get XP from it, you know. I guess switch to Golem. Shadow Claw. I went for Shadow Claw. At least its attack was lowered. Rock Smash should do good damage. Close combat. Alright, last time, close combat didn't even KO. Alright, we're all good. And his defense is lowered. Ooh, very close. Disable. Ah, oh, man. Alright. Guess I'll go for strength. Yeah, Crush Claw, that's not gonna do much. I resist. And Zangoose goes down. Next is Gyarados. That's right, that's what was causing the issues last time, was how strong Gyarados is. 
Let's see. I'm gonna start with my Gyarados to uh, lower its physical attack. Yeah, let's see. Now next. It's gonna use Bounce this turn. So I'm going to switch to Golem. Because he can take a Bounce and then hit back with Strength. And Gyarados is definitely faster than Golem, so... And strength is stab super effective. Oh, nice! Critical hit! That should be enough to level up my Gyarados, too. Yep, level 44. Dragon Dance! Whoa! That's a great boosting move. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna put that over Twister, because Twister is basically useless. Like, if I need it, the only thing it's super effective against is a dragon. Which if I need it to uh, do that, I just use Ice Thing. I guess, like, maybe if it's a dual type, like, Water Dragon, like, Kingdra. Alright, Machamp. Uh, last time I was, like, super boosted from a bunch of uh, stuff. So, I don't think Flamethrower will one hit KO like it did last time, because I had Flash Fire. Since I'm gonna go for stab fly. Ooh. Cross chop. Huh? That'll be super effective stab damage. Not quite enough to KO. Cross chop, luckily, that shouldn't do too much. It's only neutral. Yeesh! I'm gonna try extra sentry this time, see if it does more damage. Since I do have higher special attack. Ooh, yeah. Maybe you could flinch. Yeah, no, he used payback. Alright. Still if knockdown was faster than it, new speed's 84, like. Leafeon can absolutely outspeed. You can go for Psycho Cut in case he heals up. Yep. Super effective and has a high crit ratio. Alright, I'll go for Psycho Cut again. Oh no, he's got to switch to Hound Doom, I'm guessing. Yep, because it's immune. Yeah, it's immune to Psycho Cut. But, now he's definitely using fire to hit Leafeon for super effective damage, so it'll just make Typhlosion stronger. Yup. Now Flash Fire, and now I'm just stronger. Making... It was nice when he was paralyzed with Thunder Punch, but I think, honestly, with getting boosted, Flamethrower is just a better option. Alright, yeah, that did do a lot more damage than I like. Sunny Day! Oh, the fool! He just made me even stronger. <laughs> so now my fire moves are just even, like, I'm just super boosted once again. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna stay in this Typhlosion, since he can get yeah, Drapion. Shame it's not the bug type, even though it looks like a bug, but like... Stab, Charcoal, su the Sun's Out, and Flash Fire. I'm sure I can one to KO the rest of his team. Yeah, next is Machamp's back in. 
He's not even at full health. Yeah, Flash Fire is a very good ability. And that's a level up for Typhlosion. Scizor, yep. We can't have you getting in the way before news of our resurgence reaches Giovanni. And yeah, that's the freest flamethrower of my life. No, forgive me, Giovanni. How could this be? Our dreams have come to naught. I was not up to the task after all. Like Giovanni has done before me, I'll just ban Team Rocket here today. Farewell. Giovanni, sir, you've returned. My arrival is marked by... Yeah, that's all this again. Alright, and if I don't win this time, then yeah, we'll just have to try again next episode. Because this uh, video is... Yeah, it's uh, almost an hour 40. So this is going to be the last battle of the episode. Rufus, you're a good kitty. Alright, Intimidate cuts his attack. Now my cat Rufus just walked in. I'm going to switch to Gollum again since it's definitely going for fake out. So keeping Gyarados in wouldn't even really benefit me too much. So with the uh, attack drop and resisting. Oh, but I got a critical hit. Alright, Rock Smash should do some great damage. Alright. Yeah, that time I think I got a critical hit, and we saw the attack drop, plus my physical defense being really good. Easy KO here. Oh! Nido King, you'll resist. Defense drop, please? Yes! Alright, if I can outspeed, I can just use Earthquake. Ooh, no! Alright, come on, Gollum, you have very good physical defense. Maybe you can live one? No. Oh, it was a crit! I think that crit mattered. I think I actually would have lived. Alright, Gyarados, lower his physical attack. With both lowered attack and defense, yeah. Let's see. Just in case he switches, I'm actually gonna Dragon Dance. He has Thunderbolt! I forgot about that! Man! Please live one. Please live one. You're at full health. Please. No. Damn it. Now I'm just gonna friggin' throw the game, I guess. Right before I'm about to... Uh... Freaking out. Alright, come on, Blastoise, please live one. Launch a good Surf attack. Get him low on health, but not too low that he heals. Uh, he's gonna heal for sure. I'll go for Surf again. That was good damage. Maybe Aqua Jet actually, with his physical defense being lowered, maybe Aqua Jet can KO. Alright, sorry for getting all worked up. <laughs> Sometimes this game just gets needlessly stressful. Kangas gone. I mean, if I outspeed, Brick Break is good fighting type damage. Ah, double edge. Maybe I can live? Nope. Bang. I'm gonna switch to Noctowl. Hi, Rufus. Cat. Alright. And now I'm going to... Use one of those 40 revives I bought. Rufus. Cat. Revive Golem. 
If I live, I'm reviving Gyarados. I need to be able to lower his attacks. Ooh. Good recoil damage. Yeah, I don't even know if I'll out speed, so I'm just gonna revive Gyarados. That's right, I just remembered. Last time I tried to use Kangaskhan... No, not Kangaskhan. I tried to use Golem against it. Got KO'd by low kick. At least his uh, attack will be lowered here. And maybe I can survive and use Dragon Dance. Come on, lowered attack. You can live one, Gyarados. Yes! Raise attack and speed. And now, I'm going to use all my 30 max potions. Yeah, because I'll fully restore my HP. And I can maybe even set up another Dragon Dance, because... Ooh, that I resist. Yeah, you know what? I'm actually- I'm going for- I'm gonna double D-dance. Ooh, I'm for Sucker Punch! It's free! Maybe my black cat here is giving me luck. Oh, and now I am officially outspeed. So that's three Dragon Dances. Double Edge, we lived the last one. As long as it doesn't get a lucky crit, I think we're good. Alright. We've done three Dragon Dances. Aqua Tail will definitely KO now. And it's a critical hit. So I did three Dragon Dances. I should be able to outspeed and use, uh, what's it called? Aqua Tail. Yeah. Three Dragon Dances, four times effective, and with how good Gyarados' attack already is, it's going down. Gang Dragon Dance was amazing. Alright. So while I'm all Dragon Danced up, ooh, that does lower my attack by one, but I'm still plus two attack. I'm, I'm going for Aqua Tail again. Because with my speed boosting and the attack still being raised, yeah, I still did great damage. Gyarados, you did good work. And Giovanni already used his heal. Let's see. Leafeon's really fast. I'll send out Leafeon and use Bullet Seed. Ooh, Double Edge. It's still outsped. Yeesh. Come on. Let's live one. Yes! Whew. And down Tauros goes. That should be enough for Levion to level up, right? Yeah. Alright, now he's gonna send a Nido Queen. Alright, I'm gonna try and get some good damage with Psycho Cut. Maybe I can get a crit. Alright, that's decent damage. Maybe I live one? I have level up, and I have higher HP this time. Nope. Critical hit. That crit mattered. Alright. I'm gonna send out Golem. So Ice Beam would already be super effective. And there's no shot Golem actually uh, outspeeds and uses uh, and, he, and can hit. So I'm actually going to get Gyarados back in the game. Yeah, I was hoping I could at least live one so I could use a max potion. But, Gyarados, back in. This Nido Queen better not have Thunderbolt. We got D Dance. Oh, one for Protect! That's perfect! Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get greedy. I'm gonna do it twice. Double speed boost and double attack boost. Alright, Ice Beam. It's only neutral. Please live. Alright. 
with two Dragon Dances, Aqua Tail, a Strong Stab. There we go! Oh, but I got Poison Pointed. Persian. Alright. What in the world was that? Don't tell me some inexperienced kid can possibly be that strong. Once again, I'm 19. Alright, so he's absolutely going for uh, Fake Out. I if, if he didn't have Fake Out, then I would just attack right now. Because I'm pretty sure I would KO before from this range. But... I don't want to just be faked out, because fake out, even if it didn't KO, I would flinch, and then the poison would KO. What was that? Now Aqua Tail, definitely gonna KO. Yeah, Dragon Dance? Yeah, I'm... Nah, I remember in another episode I was talking about maybe I'll switch Gyarados out for Lugia. I want to keep something with Dragon Dance on my team. So I'm keeping Gyarados for sure. What in the world are you? So once again, a child defeats Team Rock. I'm not a child, I'm 19. Young adult, maybe. Is Team Rocket forever doomed to be defeated by mere young adults? <laughs> now the director shows up. Oh! You have already defeated them. Thank you. Your courageous actions have saved Pokemon nationwide. You are well worth this. Please take it. That's the Silver Wing for Lugia. There used to be a tower right here. When the tower was replaced with the Radio Tower, the Silver Wing was found at the top of their tower. I heard from a friend from Cianwood City that you can go down to the cave at World Island when you have a Silver Wing. I have to get back to my office. See ya. Oh, I almost forgot. According to my friend from Seenwood City, the legendary Pokemon will not appear if you just go down the cave at the World Islands with only that silver wing. Apparently there's something else you need. Something like that. I wonder what it was. I can't remember. Are you expecting something? This is what they call fake out. Everyone must go back to my office this time. See ya. Oh, my Gyarados got poisoned. Shivering with the effects of being poisoned. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. Whew, that was... Intense. That was an intense battle. But yeah, actually having to fight Archer before fighting Giovanni again was a good thing, because it meant I could get some level ups and, say, get Gyarados his... Uh... Get Gyarados his powerful dragon dance. I do wonder before I leave, I just want to see if there's anything special to happen or. Oh, there's a new guy. Isn't the radio while it's at the ruins? I heard a strange broadcast there. I want to see if there's anything, any special dialogue with this guy now. Hello, it's you. You know I really love Pokemon. I bought this radio tower just so I could express my love of Pokemon. It would be nice if people enjoyed their programs. Director's office. Alright. So yeah, this episode's gonna be ending about here. I'm just gonna head back to the Pokemon Center, get healed up. Alright, hello and welcome to the Pokemon Center. We restore your Pokemon to full health. Alright, yeah, healing up. That was an intense episode. Lots of really big battles. Oof. Thank you for waiting. We restored your Pokemon to full health. Please come back again anytime. Gonna save up again for the next episode. Alright, see y'all in the, I 
see y'all in the next episode.